All right, so a stochastic process is one which involves a random probability distribution. So remember before when we were talking about parametric generation, uh, we said that uh, these assets that we're designing are defined by parameters, right? And we're, we're getting the user to change those parameters uh, to procedurally design different assets. Well, what if we just uh, randomly assigned values to those parameters? This would allow us to introduce some stochasticity into our procedural generation algorithm. For example, at the click of a single button, uh, these mini planet assets were generated uh, using a stochastic algorithm. Right, so we can, if we, if we take a look here, we can see that each asset has the same general features. Right, they all have uh, like little lakes and uh, some, uh, some mountain ranges and these little clouds in the sky. However, the layout and uh, position and orientation of all of these components are different in every asset. And uh, this was all decided by the computer just using random input parameters. So the application here could involve generating a game world, for example, completely at runtime, uh, offering completely unique experiences on every playthrough. Another way of obtaining stochastic values is to perhaps use noise patterns to position objects or displace geometry. This will be covered a little bit more in the next section. One issue that stochastic algorithms raise is the inability to reproduce results. There is a way, however, to benefit from the determinism of parametric generation while still achieving unique stochastic results. In this case, we would set all the parameters of the algorithm using calculations based on a single number, which we call a seed. By changing the seed, a different set of results can be obtained. However, any instance of the algorithm at any time can reproduce precisely one set of results by using a known seed. Stochastic design algorithms are used frequently in game development. So for example, the 1980 dungeon crawler Rogue generates levels out of ASCII characters stochastically. Minecraft, another great example, you know, it might be the most popular and widely recognized application of procedural generation in modern gaming. Right here, a seed is generated or selected by a player when they start a new game, and uh, every feature of the resulting environment is derived from calculations involving that seed. In No Man's Sky, planets are procedurally generated as players discover them. The game uses a single seed so that the same universe, as vast as it is, is being generated for all players. And finally, another example uh, would be Warframe, which uses tile sets to construct mission levels. A collection of around 30 rooms or areas are drawn from and then connected together stochastically to form a unique environment layout, offering variety between different playthroughs of the same mission.